Just my best yeah, sorry. Yeah. Like, no. <laughs> yeah. The week. Yeah. yeah. Is it good? Really good. Yeah. Do you want to tell him what happened? Okay, so Let's check in back in. Let's Good morning. We had breakfast on the balcony. It was great. We checked in this morning with you guys. View was prime. Um, yeah. We were so hungry and had to hurry up out of the um, hotel. Um, yes. So we ate breakfast and I forgot to film. Sorry. Well, we're going to tell you the events of this morning so far. Okay, what so I know? rushed George out of the um, hotel room because I wanted to get to Canance Cove um, early because, well, we already, even we got there at 10 and we had to wait about 10 minutes in a car queue to get to the parking lot. I thought parking was going to be three pound for the day. Turns out, I guess, I think maybe they're raising the prices because of COVID, but it was seven pound. And it was also starting to get super windy, so I was like, okay, right, George, you just pull Well, over. Well, we're only going to be there for like maybe an hour just to take some pictures and check it out because we've got like other places to go to. Yeah. But we're definitely not going to drop like 10 pounds. Just for an hour for that, or an yeah. hour and a half. So I Sorry, was like, so I was rushed this morning, had to get petrol, rushed again, come on, come on, we need to go, we're going to be late, we're going to be late, get there, and Hannah's like, let's just go. And I'm yeah. just like, so, oh my god, are you kidding me? You rushed me so much this morning just to be turned around. Are you done complaining? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyways, so I got out of the car and I went down and I walked down the hill and I got some photos of it just so that we could have them for our memories. Um, it was super, super windy. Like yesterday, windy on the bridge at the castle. It was like that windy and also on the side of a cliff. So I'm actually glad we didn't end up walking down because the water didn't look calm at all not like the photos online it looked crazy so I guess it's just kind of luck as to when you go but yeah we're going to the next place st. Michael's Mount gonna check that out really quickly um, and then have a beach day so we can relax and chill and no I'm not crazy I just want to get as much in as I can it's and a road trip so we left the room at 8 30 to me that's a late start so <laughs> He's just complaining for no reason. But thank you for driving. That's right. I'm we also I'm enjoyed a... breakfast on yeah, the balcony with the two coffees. I'm so just happy. I, I was not rushing you. I'm just happy that you got out to walk and stretch your legs, you know. Like you, you know, you're doing your lower back. <laughs> I was not rushing you. But anyways, yeah. um, road trip diaries continue. We'll yeah. check in later. Yeah, I just put the headband on because the hair is just driving me crazy. But we stopped for some lunch because we can't be in Cornwall without a Cornish pasty. And look at the size of the one it's George got. Size of a, like the size of a football. My hand is that big. But mine is here. It's a little tinier. I'm just going to eat these and then keep driving. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's happy we made it. We had to hike down from up there, which is actually really freaking scary. We have to keep an eye out for the tide. But it's not too windy down here, which is good because it's really windy up at the top as we saw. There you go. Lay out. Enjoy. He's a happy boy. Getting so fat and windy. Right. Pretty amazing. <laughs> so we're back. We made it from the hike, and uh, yeah, the beach was really cool. Super pretty. Yeah. The tide started to come up, so we had to leave. Yeah, it's pretty dangerous. So the tide's coming up. The sea's super rough, and there's like a rip tide as well. Some young kid almost got. Um, well, he did get taken out, and he had to swim to the rocks. Yeah, but it was kind of scary. His friends were screaming, but he made it out. Safe. Yeah, it's pretty intense. As we were having a photo shoot, so it was just like, oh my god. 
Yeah, it was a little bit hectic, so we just stopped shooting right away and like went over there to make sure everything was okay. But yeah, but yeah, the kids were Thankfully, right. he was all right. But just goes to show, these types of beaches, there's absolutely no lifeguards. And on windy days with um, lots of weather, the tide and the waves get really big. So yeah, just be, be careful. careful. So we're going to drive back now. We got an hour's drive to get to the hotel. We're going to go back, relax for a little bit, and Have then head out for dinner and drinks. Yeah. Yeah. So I made it back to the room. It's supposed to rain tonight. As always, I'm ready well before this guy. He's in his underwear, but walking him. Um, maybe some of you girls can relate because I'm one of those girlfriends that can get ready in 10 minutes where your boyfriend takes half hour. He is way more high maintenance than me. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go down and get some drinks at the hotel um, and watch the sunset and then go to another <laughs> sunset place for more drinks um it's a speakeasy here called tom thumb so really excited about that and yeah so i'm gonna take you guys with us today was good it was just like really cold um for the most part the beach at the end was really nice but hopefully it doesn't rain too much got the big poofy just in case having some cocktails at the hotel first have to message for an app to get the drinks mm -hmm. like, yeah George likes this button. Really? It's blurred. It's no, it doesn't automatically yet. Nuki. Three crazy swellers. Surfers. Yeah. Do you surf? Only on holiday. <laughs> you don't surf. <laughs> <laughs> Can't catch a wave to catch a to <laughs> save his life. I'll just drown. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. All righty. Enjoy. Thank you. Are you excited? Oh, yeah. I heard it from you that. So good. Alright, so we're at Tom's. We got him a sandwich. George got a ginger. So good. So good. Now. Ten out of ten. Okay, we are like obsessed with these cocktails. Dude, this is the coolest place. <laughs> the coolest bar upstairs is the speakeasy part, but because of social distancing. Yeah, you got the table spread far apart. Yeah, but sit far apart, so I would go up there, but there's a party of like six people sitting up there, and I don't want to bother them, but it's really cool. Um, anyways, I got, what was the name of King on the Wire. King on the Wire, which is mescal, blueberry, rosemary, they lit on all the fire, it's so cool. Jumbo to save it, that's mine. George got Jumbo to save it. So yeah. From Montreal, eh? Ooh, oh, okay. Thank you very much. It's amazing. <laughs> that is a little taste of black cow vodka. Oh, right. It's made up in Dorset. <laughs> So what do you say? First taste. So I don't. I told George that there was a KFC walking distance from here, and he was really excited to have a KFC after we had a drink. So turns out it was a KCF. Bro, it's so fun. is that where we are actually? No, no, that's not. I'm sorry, there's no KFC. Do you, do you know want some prawns before you go to sleep? It's like diarrhea in a bucket. <laughs> we'll find some. Not for me, please. <laughs> George called a cab maybe 20 minutes ago, and when he About. called, they said they were 10 minutes away, then they were 5 minutes away. Now it's starting to pour rain. And they'll be here any moment. But Hannah said I can't have pizza. Any moment. Comment if I should have pizza. Made it home. Married at first sight. With really poor Wi-Fi, so it's slow. Biscuits. Good morning. We're here. A little hungover. 
a little hungover after our night out drinking, but we are in Cornwall. Down the high street. Yeah. We're gonna go check out some thrift stores and some record stores. We got some coffee. Look at all these cool stuff. Yeah, they're cool, huh? But yeah, the high street's pretty busy today. So the high street is kind of busy, and so we're just gonna walk to a few more surf shops and to the record store, and then we're gonna go gin tasting later today, which is perfect when you're hungover. Yeah, but the high street is pretty rammed. Not for me. The watershed. <laughs> Yeah, the one place that you wanted to get to. Are you excited? Yeah. Let's check it out. See if I can find something. See if we can find a gift for my brother. finished walking around Newquay, went to yeah. some surf shops, it was really fun. I got my brother a t-shirt, um, so he will like that. Um, we are on our way to the Tarquin's Gin um, distillery. Like, distillery, and we're going to learn all about gin and yeah. taste gin. We have like a 90 minute tour, so it's like yeah, we're doing a start tour, to finish. Which is going to be so cool, so In we'll take night. you guys with it's us right. and show you what it looks like. Um, as we said, we're a little hungover from yesterday, last night. So, what's that saying? If you're hungover, drink. Just know. keep, just keep drinking. So. Sure. Yeah, that that's the saying. Just keep drinking. <laughs> Anyways, we are excited. I love gin. I love gin, and I love tequila. And George loves gin. We are yeah. just not vodka people. Are no. We? No, no, no. No, no. Um. Yeah, we're excited. So stay. I always say that. Stay tuned. So we've made it to Tarquin's Distillery. It's right here. And we're gonna film the whole process. It's right here. Right there, yeah. So um, yeah, let's get you started. Trip is good. Yeah, it's been really good. We um, we've just been driving all around, really. Yeah. Have you been here? No. You love it. I love it. I mean, it's stormy, so forget it's, that. It's the but weather. It's still the weather's been okay. Yeah. But it's been so cool to see the different coastlines because yeah. it's so different. It's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Gin. Gin, which I'll talk more about in a minute. Okay. And then we're going to give you a Mediterranean tonic and then fresh grapefruit in time. So, super healthy. Oh, sounds safe. good. Yeah, I don't know anyone that doesn't mind like it. <laughs> start the morning off strong. Well, absolutely. Yeah. That's how we like to start That's, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Cheers or good health in Cornish. Oh, nice. Cool. Yeah, sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. The week. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Is it good? Really good. Yeah. So excited. We're gonna learn all about botanicals. And yeah. <laughs> Start in the morning, strong. So firstly, thank you for driving to the middle of nowhere to come on our uh, gym tour. You were probably expecting some swanky visitor centre, maybe some big bar, maybe a little bit more corporate. As you can see, it's quite the opposite. So we've grown lots as a company. We're in about 50 different countries now. We've gone into Canada, Dubai, Mexico, China. We've gone from a team of about 50 to nearly 50 in a matter of years. We were in the Sunday Times to be in the 29th fastest growing company in the whole UK. We're actually still incredibly small, Cornish, and authentic. So it's actually a trick question, because it's called a juniper berry. It's actually a form of pine, so it takes two years to mature. Um, we go through 30 different sources in Italy to get the exact one that we want. Yeah, a little nibble. Does it taste like lemon sherbet? Yeah. It's nice though. So, in making gin. Alright, so we are just finished with our gin tasting. Yeah. George had to drive quick. We are now at the Pig, which yeah. is a brand new hotel here in Harlem Bay. And our friends that we had drinks with, Steph and Lucas, yeah. they are the restaurant managers here. Um, and so we're gonna have lunch wow. and catch up with them one more time before we head out. But it looks so Super pretty. 
I'm gonna check in, so you can eat out here. There's a lobster shed where they have lobster. And then this is the hotel. Super beautiful. There's the pig. <laughs> Beautiful, absolutely stunning. Hi. Hi. It ain't it ain't our video. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, it's Stephanie, our natural habitat. This is her at work. <laughs> so weird. Our beautiful friends. <laughs> Enjoy those. And so, first impression? Oh, it's, I can't wait for more. I'm like, wow. It looks so good. Steph and Lucas take such good care of us. Hey, guys. Look outside. Alright, so we've got the pork chop, which smells heaven for me. Very good, yeah. And the mushroom, chanchal mushrooms. So excited to dig in. Steph and Lucas are super sweet and hooked it up for us. Yeah, they're nice. Yeah. Dig in, babe. All right, we just finished lunch at The Pig. Yeah. Um, George has been such a champ this whole trip. He's driven the entire time because I can't drive because I don't <laughs> know how to drive mind. on the other side of the road. I think you'd struggle with the country roads. And I'm also not insured on any cars, so yeah. Yeah. Thank you. It's all right, I don't mind driving. <laughs> Anyways, we had the best afternoon lunch at The Pig. If you guys saw the footage, it was absolutely beautiful inside. Oh my God. And our friends, Steph and Lucas, who we showed you guys before, they are the restaurant managers there. And they basically um, just opened a few weeks ago and the whole space was like, Derelict. apparently, yeah. yeah, like just dilapidated and totally like left it was someone's actual house and so they did an incredible job just with the interior design and making it look amazing and the landscaping outside apparently it was just like all like muddy like a pond just like yeah yeah and at the top you have ocean views um a full farm to table like garden um which was absolutely beautiful. I didn't vlog it, unfortunately, um, but I, I can try to insert some photos, but a lot of times when you go to a restaurant and they say they're farm to table, you know, they have like a small little farm, but this uh, place right, had, to just 74. <laughs> but this place had just a ton of fresh veg um, and it was really beautiful. So if you're definitely in the Cornwall area near Padstow, check out the new pig. Um, the Pig Hotels is like a hotel chain and they have, I think, seven? Almost yeah, I think this is the seventh one. one and they're planning to open an eighth. <laughs> Hold on. They're planning to open an eighth uh, in 2021. So. Yeah. so, yeah, it is a hotel chain, but they're absolutely beautifully done. Um, and if you're in the area and you want a nice lunch and a nice just afternoon or even a dinner as well, yeah. Um, definitely check it out. So now we are on the road. <laughs> we have our bags packed. It's been a great three days in Cornwall. Yeah, um, really good. And we're headed to, sorry, the sun. We're headed to Grandma's house in Taunton. Yeah. Going to check in with her. Going to um, just spend the evening and tomorrow morning with her. It'll be really nice to catch up. It's always good to see family. But yeah, yeah it's gonna be nice. Cornwall was great. Yeah, but I, I've never been down here before. It's just a surprise considering like uh, I'm only like a couple hours away. But, uh, but yeah, man, um, wonderful we'll be back. place. Yeah. We'll be back. We're gonna come back and stay with Stephanie because <laughs> I reckon. <laughs> so yeah, we'll check in with you when we are at Grandma's and then tomorrow we go to Bath. So yeah, we got two hours in the car. Gonna listen to some music. And enjoy the drive. <laughs> just chat. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. <laughs>